me. There we go. Connected to computer. It's not going to show you what you have while the phone is connected. Kind of like how when you plug an iPod, uh, an iPod in, you have to eject it before you play music. Same thing here. So anyway, I'm going to go back and put it on the home screen. Now, my Motorola Droid pops up under devices. That's good. What we're going to do is click on that, and this comes up. It tells you your Droid. Uh, it actually, when you come, like, it'll come up like this for the first time. Nothing's going to be checked off. Um, you're going to want to click on Sync Music, and then you can either sync all your music, which that's totally up to you, but I don't want to put that much music on my phone just because I want to test it out and see how much memory it takes up. Um, that's what this bar is for. It tells you how much space you have used up and how much you have remaining. You want to make sure you don't put too much on your Droid, and you don't want to flood it with pictures and podcasts and all that. You want to make sure it still runs fast, but anyway, I'm going to click uh, sync music and then I'm going to click selected playlist and have droid music checked off so you saw on my droid there was one song on there it was Shutterbug by Big Boy that was what I tested before I showed you this video there are also like my um, your ringtones if you have custom ringtones that you downloaded or your notification sounds they'll be on there too because Double Twist has all the music and sounds on your phone um, but what I'm going to do now is click sync so that status bar will go, and what it's doing right now is it's taking those five music files which were in the Droid Music playlist, and it is syncing them to my phone. Now, I know this doesn't look complicated, but the thing you have to understand is that Double Twist is a brilliant program. Why? All right, I'll tell you. Sometimes when you use other programs to try and sync your iTunes to your Droid, this is why other users had problems, because their files were the wrong file format, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, there's like .avi, .mov, all these different types of files for different types of, like, videos, songs, and whatnot. Double Twist doesn't care what type of file it is. It will take your file and convert it to whatever it needs to be to play on Double Twist. The, the app Double Twist. So the Double Twist program takes a file, converts it, sends it to the Double Twist app, and you're good to go. That is why I love this program. And you're going to see that when this is done, this is taking a little time. It does take a long time. It's definitely not as quick as iTunes, but there you go. It's almost done. The status bar is about three-fourths of the way done. When it's done, you're going to be pleasantly surprised um, with the, just the utility of the phone and how, um, how smooth it is to run the program. The status bar is almost done. You can see that the used and remaining space has updated. There we go. You know it's done when that bar disappears. So, we want to check on our phone and see if the music's there. So, you saw before that anytime we unlock the phone and go into Double Twist, if I wanted to see the songs, I could click on Songs, but it's not going to show us because it's connected to the computer. So, the way you, like you would with an iPod, you see the Motorola Droid, you want to eject it. So, you're going to click on that Eject, wait for it to disappear. It disappeared. And you can see that uh, on Double Twist, it took us back to the music store, which means kind of like tells you that you did it right. So then what you're going to do is pull the cord out of your phone, pick up our phone here. Yeah, we know, blah, blah, blah. Okay, pretend you didn't see that. We're going to open Double Twist. I want to see the songs. I click on songs. There they are, right there. Pronto, Shutterbug, who knows, Opposite of Dull is just the way you are. And that, that X thing in Brohim Tribute, that's my uh, ringtone notification and my, um, my ringtone and my text notification. Um, so they are on the phone now. Um, so now you, you know how to sync your iTunes with your phone. This is amazing. The first time I did this, I was so happy because now I don't need to carry my iPod around anymore. I mean, granted, there are only five songs in here. I'm going to put probably a couple, couple thousand on here at least. Um, I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like when you play it. So I don't know how you like to play your music. I'll just go to songs. Opposite of adults. Now, of course, I don't have uh, my, my little headphones in, so that came out of the speaker on the back of the phone. But you can see it's very nice and clean. Uh... There's no artwork on the song because I don't have any on my computer. I could show you that. I don't know why I just did that. It's not there. But I could show you that I didn't have artwork. You can put artwork in there. That's up to you. 
Um, nice play, next, back, uh, shuffle, repeat. Everything that you would get out of your iPhone. Some settings down here, see if it focuses. If you can't read that, it says library uses ringtones. So you could set any song that you put on your phone as your ringtone and then play cue. If you click on library, it'll just take you back to the main screen. And that's basically it. The last thing I just want to show you guys is why Double Twist is better than an iPhone and why the Droid is better than the iPhone. On the iPhone, if you're familiar with it, you, you may remember that at the bottom of the screen you'd have like your little music thing, you'd click on it, and then a million songs would open up and it would show you what you're playing. And it's just so small and hard to click on. Um, a lot of my friends have iPhones and, I mean, obviously they know because I run my blog that I hate it, but um, I'm going to show you guys something great here. If you click on your home screen that, and hold down, this will pop up. Click on widgets. This, and then your widget list will open up. Scroll down until you see double twist small. Click on that. And then it puts a widget on your home screen. So like the last song I was playing was Opposite of Adults. You see it right there. So at any point, if I'm texting or whatever, I can just click play. And there you go. The song's playing. Um, you can. The song will play while you run any app, so it's not like it's going to turn off if you go into your text or go online. And at any point, if you just click on the widget, it takes you right back to here. If you click specifically, come on. If you click specifically on the song, you see it at the bottom. You're back on the main list. You can click on the bottom where the song is, and it'll take you directly to the the song that's being played. Otherwise, it'll keep you in kind of like the main menu. Um, search by album. Search by artist. I didn't have some of the artists filled out. That's why they're not in there. But yeah, that is Double Twist. So I hope this video was helpful because I know at least 300 people had emailed me asking, how do I get my iTunes on my Droid? Uh, it's annoying. It's something that the iPhone does better. You said the iPhone doesn't do anything better. Well, I kept my word and just showed you that the iPhone will never be better than the Droid because now us Droid users have our iTunes. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, please email us at twoguysonedroid at gmail.com and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our blog for more uh, great videos like this. If you need help getting pictures, podcasts, or video onto your Droid through Double Twist, I can show you that as well. Um, so yeah, we hope this helped you. And please remember, the droid is always better than that, that demon. Actually, it's not a demon. It's got me through some tough times. But yeah, this droid, this is the way to go. Thank you, guys. And